Alright, hey guys, it's GundamFan89 here, and today I figured I'd do a quick little uh, tutorial on video compression for YouTube. Now, I've been on this uh, Gundam Eclipse forum website here. Uh, just if you don't know, it's a nice little forum for YouTube Gunpla fanatics and just an area for you to discuss and ask questions for other Gunplayers. And uh, it's a really fun, fun place, so I hi highly recommend it. Anyway, uh, I've been on this uh, YouTube community section here on the forum, and there's been a couple of people that have posted, and they weren't quite sure how to export their videos and get the best picture quality. So uh, here it is. Now I'm using iMovie 06, which um, is a version of iMovie that came out from around 2005 or 06 or 07. Um, I just like to use it because it's a fairly simple program just for simple video editing, nothing too complex. Um, if you're a Windows user and you're using Pinnacle or uh, Sony Vegas, Movie Maker, uh, Adobe Premiere, any of those things, I'm pretty sure these settings that I'm, that I'm about to uh, adjust here are adjustable for you guys as well. So take this video and uh, translate it to you as best you can. Starting off here, uh, I've just got a little clip of a video here that's part of a larger project, uh, so which I will play here. Alright, hey guys, it's Gundam Fan 89. Okay, so that's like a two to three second thing there. So first we're going to go off to share, and then share from the drop down menu. And we're going to get this little menu here, make sure this is clicked on QuickTime out of these icons here. And then here in the middle, compress movie 4. There's a bunch of settings that you can select based on uh, quality. We're going to click on expert settings so that we can uh, adjust all the settings that we want to. And since this is a small clip that's part of a larger project, I have this checked here. Um, if you're exporting your whole project, make sure to uncheck that. And we're going to click on the share button here. Alright, so here we have the menu. Uh, we can retitle it video tutorial.mp4 and make sure to uh, select wherever you want it to end up, which I have it on the desktop. Down here we have export and a drop down menu here, which you can select um, you know, for your iPhone or Apple TV um, to picture, or you can even take just the sound of the whole project and export it to. Uh, as a sound file so you can put it to iTunes or to another video project but here we're gonna select movie to MPEG-4 and then we're gonna click on the options button here and from here we can adjust all the settings okay so first we're gonna start off at the very top one here that says MP4 make sure it's on MP4 and not MP4 ISMA that, that'll screw you up Clicking on video here, on video format, make sure it's on H.264. That's the universal YouTube uh, format of all their videos. Data rate, uh, the thing on data rate is it really depends on what you're exporting. For example, I've got some uh, facts here. If you're exporting some standard definition stuff that isn't in high definition, uh, put in that little box there anywhere from 2500 to 3000. If you're doing HD content like uh, 480p, uh, 720p, 1080p, you're going to want to put anywhere between 3500 and 4000. I usually put 4000 just to get the extra good uh, picture quality. If you're doing an animation like a screen flow type tutorial that I'm doing here or uh, any other type of animation, you can do uh, 5000. which I think, there we go, 5,000, whoops. Okay, so since this is a HD project, I'm gonna go over here to data rate, delete those numbers there, and put in 4,000 K bits per second. And then on image size here, we're gonna click on 720 HD here. Now, apparently YouTube can do 1080p. I haven't seen it. I'm not quite sure where that's at, where that's at yet. But uh, we're gonna do 720p. All right, and then for frame rate, I usually go 29.97. Keyframe, click automatic. 
And then uh, video options, you don't need to do anything there, that's just whatever that is. And this is a nice little thing here below, it'll tell you what your some of your data is here, so you can just keep track of it. Um, up to audio, click on audio. For audio format, it's going to be on AAC, LC, music. And then data rate, keep it at 128 kbps, that's like your standard sound quality that you'll get from my tune store or something like that. Channels, stereo is always nice unless you want to go to old school and go mono, but we're going with stereo. Output sample rate, just leave that alone at 44.1 gigahertz. And then encoding quality, I just use it, I just uh, leave it at better. All right, and then streaming, you don't need to do anything with that. Now, before you click OK and export all your stuff, just go down the list here and make sure everything's all right, okay? Once everything's all right, click OK. And then make sure the title is what you want it to be, as well as where you want it to end up. And that is it, and you can click Save, and it will start compressing the movie. And since this is a fairly short two to three second movie, it shouldn't take that long at all. Alright, so it's done. We're going to minimize this window here, go into our desktop. Here it is, video tutorial.mp4. We're going to click that. And there it is, a big 720p file. It's pretty big. So we're going to reduce it to half and then just expand it a little bit. Alright, hey guys, it's Gundam Fan 89. So there it is, there's your high quality H20p high definition uh, video. And then from there you can just upload it to YouTube. Um, if you guys have any, any other questions, feel free to shoot me a comment or a reply or what have you. And uh, I'd be happy to answer your questions or if you have suggestions for me on how to maybe do something a little better, go for it. Uh, that's about it guys. Again, make sure to go to Gundam Eclipse. That's Gundam-Eclipse.com. It's a great forum site. Anyway, that's about it, guys. Take care.